Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to introduce to you Angelita Thomas. Let me just say this before she comes up here. Let me talk about it because she doesn't come out and speak too much. But Angelita and I host an online show called Real Talk Detroit. I think she might tell you a little bit about all that stuff when she gets up here. But I met her networking a few years ago. And, and look, it worked for us because we've been working together and we're working together now, I think it's after about five or six years or something like that, four, it seems like, it seems so long. Man, it seems like a long time. But anyway, <laughs> networking works, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, Angelita Thomas. Hey y'all, how you doing? How is everyone? That's good. Okay, so I'm sure uh, most of you have seen me before doing work with Agents of Hope, but not too many of you know anything about me. You just know that I'm a board member of Agents of Hope, correct? So I thought that I would share um, some things about me, who I am. So I'm Angelita Thomas. Hey again. <laughs> I was born and raised in, Mich in Clinton Township, Michigan, so I've been here pretty much all my life. Um, I am a mother of four. I have a 21-year-old son, a 20-year-old daughter, um, a 13-year-old son, and a 10-year-old daughter. And I'm also a grandmother of a three-month-old. So I know I look good for my age. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have also worked in the medical field for 16 years. Um, a lot of those years were spent um, in management. And I worked with um, mentally challenged, I would probably say mental health, as well as um, patients with dementia and Alzheimer's. So that is kind of like my passion. Yeah, I guess so. But I've tried to get away from the medical field, but for some reason, I can't get away. So I'm still in the medical field, and I work right now um, in a pharmacy. Um, so that's my work. Um, I come from probably a long line, or well, a line of entrepreneurs. My grandfather um, was a carpenter. He taught me how to put siding on the house, so if any of you need me to put siding on your house, I'm very well versed in, in doing that. I can do that as well as I know how to lay bricks. So if you need me to lay some bricks, I got you there too. Um, and he taught me how to change a tire, but we all know that it is 2017. Ladies, how many of us actually really change a tire? Do you? I'm calling roadside assistance, okay? And I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna tell you, one time I got a flat tire and I heard the air coming out my tire at the gas station. I drove my car all the way home, parked it in the driveway, and called roadside assistance. They came. <laughs> as well as I have an aunt who has been a florist for over 20 years, I'm a successful florist. So, you know, being uh, business-minded and entrepreneur, it just runs in my family. Um, I realized this probably about 10 years ago. Um, I wanted to do something different. I, of course, I like my job in the medical field and I like helping people. Hey, how you doing? You're kind of cute. You got a cute smile. All right. Um, <laughs> I found myself, you know, thinking like, you know, I want to do something different. I like to put smiles on people's face. I like, I'm a jokester. I'm a people person. I like to talk. But one of the things that I realized that I like to do is make your dream a reality. So I went into event planning. So that's when Angel Events was born. However, when I started my company, it wasn't, you know, doing social events like weddings or um, family reunions or birthday parties. I started out doing expos and trade shows. So I would introduce businesses to other businesses and then I would introduce um, businesses to, to clients. And that's pretty much what I did for probably about the first year, year and a half. Then I realized, I'm like, oh, I think it's time for me to add some more service. So then I then started adding candy buffets and then from there it kind of went to doing social events, birthday parties, um, doing events for businesses, as well as working with nonprofit organizations. So here I am. So that's a little bit about me. So now we're gonna move into the real reason why I'm up here. We're gonna talk about networking, which is one of the things that I love to do. So I have a question for you all. How many of you are business owners? Cool, 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 cool. So 
if you don't mind me asking, what do you do? Okay. Oh, great. We'll have to connect with that. Um, who else raised their hand? Man with a pretty smile. My name is Sean Carter. I'm a local nonprofit organization. I'm the chair of the organization 501c3. I'm a mission to support and help people in the organization. Okay. Okay. I've seen some more hands. Transportation taxi, okay. I need you on those nights that I'm out at the club and you know the bar I might have to call you. <laughs> Anybody else to raise their hand? He's tough, y'all. I had him as a personal trainer. I'm not even gonna lie, I quit. He was <laughs> but he was nice. I just I wasn't ready. I didn't have the I didn't have the willpower. <laughs> Cool. Oh, cool. So we have business owners here. How many of you network? Do you network? Everyone networks? Okay. All right. Well, I love to network. Um, it's probably one of the things that people say that I do the most or I do the best. I don't know. I think I just do what I do. Um, so I want to talk to you about a few important steps I use when networking. These steps have worked for me and I'm honored to share them with you um, as I also hope they can assist you in your journey. Okay? All right, so the first step is network up and down, left and right. The goal of networking is to create a strong connection and relationship with individuals at all levels, career stages, and fields. Pretty simple, huh? Um, the up and down pertains to individuals who are more senior in their career and maybe even below your job title or what it is that you do. Left and right pertains to peers at the same level or even in a completely different field. Any of these connections could help by introducing you to new connections, helping you find strategic mentors, or lending to your next breakthrough opportunity. Basically, you never know um, who you can meet. And the possibilities are endless when you're out networking. Um, the second one is help others. It's not always about you. So when you go out and when you're networking and when you, know, you wanna talk about your business, sometimes it's not always about you. You just have to just sit back and you have to listen. Um, true story, I had a, a lady that called me and she called and the message that she left on the phone was, hey, I wanted to know if you, how much it is to rent your hall and if you allow outside food. You guys know I don't own a hall, right? I'm an event planner, I don't, I don't have a hall. So one or two things could have happened. I could have deleted that message and went on about my day or I could have called her back. What y'all think I did? over there with a pretty smile. I called her back. And it was just basically to say, hey, you know what, I'm, I don't have a hall. I'm an event planner, but this is what I can do for you. I can at least give you um, a name, a list of three halls that do allow you to bring in outside food. And that's what I did. And she was very appreciative and she thanked me. What did I, I gain from that? Well, I helped someone. Did I make money or did I do anything? No, I didn't, but I'm okay with that because you never know down the line that same woman can pick up the phone and say, hey, I remember you were the lady that helped me find these halls. I was wondering if you could do a birthday party or if you can do you know, anything. So you never know. Some, you, know you always have to keep in mind that networking is not always about you. It's about helping other people at times. Um, you will surely leave a positive impression. Obviously, I know I left a, pos a positive impression with the lady. So striving um, to be a network connector is a, bit, is a beneficial practice that builds credibility. And I think when, you know, when you're just nice and you kind of go out, and I don't really think that I went out of my way to help her, but when you kind of just do things, you know, it can definitely be beneficial for you and it can help you in the long run. Um, the other one is make friends, 
not just network. If you start with the intent of building a friendship, the relationship naturally becomes a two-way relationship, right? So with that being said, I'll tell you guys, I have two stories of two gentlemen that I had the pleasure of meeting all while networking. I'm gonna get my, maybe 2012, I may be, I may be off on my years, but 2012, I um, was asked to come to an event to be a model, a head wrap model. And the lady, she was rapping Gile head wraps. I'm sure a lot of you know what those are. And I look good in my head wrap, y'all. I should have brought a picture. So at, this, at the end of this event, there was people there. And you know, you exchange business cards, you network with people, you get to, to, you get to meet people, right? So I met a gentleman um, by the name of Shola Salako at this event. And so he was telling me about his nonprofit organization. And he was telling me um, of an upcoming gala that he was having in August. So I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool, you know. Um, I think I'll keep in touch. You know, we made a connect, we exchanged business cards. Um, we connected with each other on Facebook. And I went to his event, his gala. Obviously, you guys can see I've been here ever since. You know, so you know, you know, so you just never know when you meet people the connection that you make. And Shola and I has, have made a great connection pretty much since from the moment we met. I've been a supporter of Agents of Hope. I'm a board member, vice president of Agents of Hope. So that's that story. So you guys see how networking plays an important role. So the next gentleman that I had the opportunity to meet, I was at a networking event in. Novi, I think it was called Bar Louie. And so you know how every, maybe once a month or twice a month, they'll have like these net networking events that are kind of just throughout the city or you know, Novi, sometimes they're a Royal Oak. So I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Van Tool at this event. So him and I exchanged business cards, we networked, we talked, hence we're really good friends now. We do the radio show as he mentioned earlier. Um, we do some other business ventures together. So again, these are two, you know, um, two people that I met just all pretty much just networking, just handing them a business card and pretty much saying, hey, how are you? And it was not about me. In the case with Shola, it was, hey, I have this event coming up. I said, I listened. You know, so networking, there's a lot of listening that you need to do, as well as with Mr. Van Tool. That's all I'm gonna say about Michael, cuz. <laughs> be yourself and don't be nervous. Many professionals get nervous when they meet new people, especially if these individuals are accomplished. However, it's important to be yourself and find common topics of interest. So sometimes when you find a common topic of interest with someone, it alleviates your nervousness. Um, it alleviates your nervousness. So it's like, you know, if you're a golfer and I like golf, that's something that we can definitely talk about because we can relate. You know, if you like to go to the movies, which I don't know why you'd be talking about movies, but I mean, you, you see where I'm going with this. Once you guys find a, something common that you have in mind, then you can kind of bank everything on that. And then when you follow up or do whatever, you can bring up those uh, you can bring up those thoughts as far as golfing, or maybe, you know, you're into networking, um, just a number of different things that you'll want to keep in mind when you're networking. Um, solidify the connection and follow up. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down. Okay, solidify the connection and follow up. Solidify connections you make is always important. Remember to ask for a business card or for a way to connect with your new contact to build your relationship. Now, there's a difference between follow-up and stalking. Just so y'all know, okay? Um, please don't stalk the people. <laughs> don't, don't stalk the people. Um, if you feel there is a connect, if, so basically what I do, if I feel that there's a connection and you know, we could possibly work together or whatever the case may be, I'll follow up within 24 hours with an email. Fair enough, right? And in that email, I may mention some things that we talked about so that you can remember me because I'm sure I'm not the only person that you've talked to that night. I'm sure I'm not the only business card that you have. 
So I'll follow up within 24 hours. If I haven't heard anything, I may call um, later that week or the beginning of the next week, just depending on you know, when we made the connection. And if I have not received a reply, and I'll only do that if I haven't received a reply from the initial, initial uh, email that I sent out. Um, so then I'll follow up. If we have not connected, I may give one last call. After that, I'm going to let it rest. Y'all see that? I'm going to let it rest. I'm not going to call. I'm not going to send them another email. Because it could mean that, first of all, they have your information. So when they're ready to return your phone call, they can call you. They can email you. Maybe it's just a bad time. And you know, things happen. You get busy. But just don't stalk people. Because I've had that happen to me. I've had. Somebody stalked me, y'all, just off of business card. Lord Jesus. Also, when you meet someone and they give you a business card, make a few notes on the business card. Um, have, it, it will help you have some information to send when you send that first initial email. Like, again, like I said, if you have, if your interest was golfing, be like, hey, I'm the lady that, that you met, and you know, we talked about golfing. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember her. So always ask um, something like that. So, in closing, every day you leave your, you leave your house, you are a walking billboard for your business. Networking can help can happen anywhere. So I'll leave you with this from Jay Danzi. Your smile is your logo. Your personality is your business card. How you leave others feeling after an experience with you becomes your real trademark. That's my time. <laughs>